start with your injuries. Um, you obviously have uh, considerable issues there. Can you just kind of outline the extent of the, the situation you face right now? Um, I think it's more in defensive areas of the field. You know, we seem to be uh, getting one back fit and then another one's out for a period of time. We lost Alan Hutton on uh, on Saturday, which is very unfortunate. For someone who's who's one of the top players at the club, um, but it's up for up to other players to come in and do the job. But I've, to be honest, I've never known an injury injury list like it, especially in them areas of the field. Um, but you, it's something you just got to get on with, you know, and um, and hopefully. There's light at the end of the tunnel. So how, how are you shuffling your cards ready for what is a big week for you? Well, that's the case of you know just seeing who's capable of going and doing the job at the time. A, a few of them are back from injury, you know, but they're they're medically fit, but physically they're 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 quite short. So it's a meet, needs must situation at the moment. So some of them will be risked, and uh, and if as long as that player is prepared to take that risk for the football club, then I'm happy for him to do it. Without uh, pushing quick run with too much pressure. Can you list the players you can't call upon so we can get that clear? I think there's too many. We're, we're not here long enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about the situation generally then? You, you, you hit what is a key part of the year and unfortunately for you, you're still very much in the mix. Perhaps you had hoped you wouldn't be by now. Have you seen the bottom area of the table? Yeah, listen, I, obviously we all hoped that we wouldn't be, but we're realistic. You know, uh, Tim Sherwood never come in here with a magic wand. And uh, you know we won five games in 25 games before I come in here, and I was asked to win the same amount of games in, you know, 13. So um, we knew it was going to be a tough task. We're happy to still be in the mix. It is a great opportunity for us to put six points between us and Queens Park Rangers tomorrow night, and that's our focus. We think we're capable of doing it. it it'll move us, jump us up the league a couple of spots, and uh, give us a little bit of breathing space above that line. No, one at a time, you know, and it's, it's all about this one tomorrow night. This is, why, without doubt, the biggest game of the season for Aston Villa and the biggest game possibly in a number of years for this football club. We, you know, we, I, we, we plead our fans to come and be on side. They were fantastic for us when we played West Brom on a double header, And we need them to be exactly the same tomorrow night. And, um, you know, if we can match the performance of them fans, then we'll be all right.